Also breaking a night of sideshows and chaos in Vallejo. And while one person recovers from serious injuries, law enforcement looking to round up the people responsible for the assault and other crimes. NBC Bay Area's Chris Sanchez joining us now with some brand new surveillance video showing the moment that that sideshow actually spilled into a nearby store, Chris. This is really crazy to watch as you look at this. The sideshow is just one part of the story. Some of the people there say there was also a person who was assaulted. And when you look for cover inside a nearby 7-Eleven store, the chaos continued. Camera video from inside the store. You see that man in the orange shirt. He is there briefly on the phone. He walks out, but then he runs back in. He's chased by a mob of people. And as several of those people seem to attack him, other people start looting the store. Eventually, that man in the orange shirt makes his way behind the register for safety. You can see the blood visible on the neck and arm of his shirt. Now, as that man in the orange shirt, the uh, victim there, leaves the store, you also see about a dozen other people leaving with cases of what appears to be beer. Several others jump over the register, try to take lottery scratchers. People who live and are just trying to work in Vallejo say it's out of control. I was born and raised here my whole life, and it's just the last, what, three years, four years, it's gotten bad, real bad. We need more cops here, badly. It's, it's lawless here. Every, I mean, it's getting terrible. You can't go anywhere without something happening. Now, we have asked Vallejo police about any arrests. They haven't told us of any at this point, but something to note that I know from my previous reporting, when those scratchers are stolen, immediately the store has a batch number on those. They notify the lottery office, so they're basically worthless. Marcus and Laura. I just can't believe that. All right, Chris, thanks so much for that update. I know.